Morning, y'all. We're out here at the range getting ready to have a little fun, as you can see by the title. This one's going to be more fun than educational. So if y'all looking for a FBI controlled circumstance type of testing video, you're at the wrong one this time. I'm just going to tell you. But what we're doing today, as you can see by the titles, we're hunting jelly rabbits. And let me show you what we're working with. So we got the Ruger 1022, 22 LR, of course, 18 inch barrel here. And what we're testing out today is the CCI Velocitors and the CCI Stingers. Now the Velocitors are a 40 grain copper plated hollow point. The Stingers are a 32 grain copper plated hollow point. So pretty, pretty vast difference in the weight. And these Stingers are calling for about 200 feet more per second. So it's it definitely difference in the rounds. But like I say, we're just having a little fun with this one. And as y'all can see, there's no jelly contraption up close. But let me take y'all down here and to show you all what we're working with. All right, so here's our setup down here. Got the chrono here set up. I got just the target behind it so I can see where I'm aiming at. It'll be kind of tough down here at 50 yards. And then over here, we got the old jelly rabbit. Y'all know if y'all watch my Easter videos, I got kind of a vendetta against the rabbits going on here. So uh, we got the jelly rabbit set up down here. Now this target is exactly 50 yards. So this rabbit's about, uh, you call it 49 yards. The chrono up here is gonna be about 48 yards. So anywhere from 48 to 49 yards is what we're working with here today. So let me get us back down there to the starting position, get y'all set up and we'll get started. All right, y'all, let's get some speeds on these rounds first. We're going to start out with the CCI Stinger. Uh, I'm going to do a five-round average on these things. Hopefully, the chrono don't give me no trouble being down there in this line of sun like this. So we should be all right. But do a five-round average. Like I say, that's basically about right at 48 yards down there. So let's see what we're working with here. These things should be hitting about uh, an inch high out there. So maybe two inches. Let's see what we get. Look like 1279. Twelve sixty eight. Twelve sixty five. Twelve ninety three, I think. And 1297, I believe it is. So that was five rounds. Let's go down there and check out that average. All right, y'all. So the five round average on the CCI Stingers was 1,280 feet per second. Um, I'm not working on accuracy out here so much, but I'll show y'all where these landed at. As you can see up there, it's those five here. I figured it was about an inch or two high out here at uh, 50 yards, basically. So let me get everything reset and we'll check out these velocitors. All right, y'all, got us reset with the velocitors. Uh, we're going to do the 40 grain CCI velocitors, same distance down there. Hopefully the Corona plays nice with these also. I didn't tape up the hits from the stingers down there because, like I say, I ain't worried about so much accuracy on this test, but y'all can go back and check it out if you're interested. Uh, this, this isn't the optimal setup. It's a little wobbly, and like I say, I'm kind of just trying to get the speeds on them right now. But uh, anyway, let's get five shots on these velocitors, y'all. Here we go. Like 1175, 1178, 1154, 1223, 1157 so got all five on that just from what i'm looking at the point of impact is virtually the same on those on these versus them stingers but let's go down there and check out what the average is on these all right y'all so the five round average on the cci velocitors is 1178 feet per second and if you remember on the stingers it was 1280 so looking at 102 feet per second faster out of those stingers which seems about right that's about what i figure as far as point of impact on these velocitors uh, 
As you can see, they're all pretty much in the same area. Look like they were a little lower. I think all three of those are from the Velocitors, and then two more up in here somewhere from the Velocitors. Some of these were underneath the little pasties that fell off, so not all of those were from what we just tested, but pretty much the same point of impact. The Velocitors a little bit lower, it looks like. But let me go back down there and get y'all set back up, and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's Bugs Bunny jelly time. Got the bunny set up down there at right, like I say, 49-ish yards. May as well say the target's at 50, and it's right in front of that, so 49 yards. Um, I'm a little concerned about this, to be honest with you. That, that rabbit is not real thick, so I kind of got it at an angle. Y'all can see in the other picture. I'm not hitting it directly long ways, but I've kind of got it at an angle because if I put it sideways, I believe it's going to go right through it, and it might go right through it anyway. So uh, what I've done is I've set up an old piece of that old piece of yellow gel I, I started out these gel videos with. I've got that behind it, and I've got a couple of towels, so in case it goes through, maybe we'll catch the, the uh, projectile. But let's see what we get, y'all. We're going to start out with the stinger. So here we go. We're going to get that wascally wabbit. All right. Look like we got him. I uh, kind of saw the towels behind it move. I don't know if that means it went through or not. Well, let's go down there and see what happens. All right, y'all, as y'all already saw in the camera in y'all's view, that was actually a perfect hit. I couldn't have asked for any better. Got him right on the side of the nose and kept on trucking about halfway through and opened up. Looks like really nice, so we'll check it out here in a second. But uh, um, let's try this Velocitor. Hopefully, I can get the same results out of this Velocitor. It's going to be a little tricky to keep it out of that uh, stinger track and still get it where it stays in the rabbit. But let's see what we can do, y'all. All right, seen the rabbit do the wiggle again, so I think we got a good hit on it. Let's go down there and check out and see what we got. All right, y'all, that was actually a good hit from the Velocitor 2. However, uh, it went in nice and clean, and then it curved up and came out the top of the rabbit. Um, now, I did catch the projectile in the towels behind it, but I'm just going to tell you, it didn't expand very well. So it may be because it exited the gel early. So I'm going to take one more shot on this and see if we can't catch it inside the gel. So here we go, y'all. One more on the Velocitor. I'm going to try to go a little lower. Ah, uh, I think the same thing happened again. I knocked the towels down behind it. So let me go check, check out and see what happened there. All right, y'all, had almost the exact same thing happen again. Uh, I thought I was aiming a little bit lower that time, but apparently I wasn't because I clipped him in the ear that time and it went in and came out his back again. And I did catch it again in the towel. And again, it's not it's not uh, really expanded very well. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit lower. These things may just have too much penetration to be able to catch in the, in the gel anyway. So let's give it another shot, y'all, see what happens. All right, I didn't see the towels move on that one, so we may have caught that one. Let's go down there and check that out. All right, y'all, I finally got one I feel comfortable with going with and checking out. So let me show y'all what we got here. So obviously you can see the stinger inside the rabbit there. That stinger, I'll show you from around the other side too and above to get some more views of this, but that thing went right on the side of his, his nose right here, except on the other side. Went in, nice wound channel up in the head area right there. I'll show you from the other side again, like I say. And then look, I can already tell it stopped about midway through the rabbit and expanded perfectly, just like we've seen on that stinger before. Those stingers are some of the best uh, expanding 22 LRs I've seen that I've tested. Uh, so that was the stinger. Now, the first two shots on the Velocitor, the, the first one went right up above this stinger on, this, on the side of his cheek over there, and it went in and come out his back right about here. And I did catch that in the towel, and I'll show you all those projectiles. Uh, the second one actually went in right, right in his ear over here 
actually right here in the side of his ear, went in, went in the back, and then come back out, and I called it in the towel as all as well. Now, the third one, the, the one we're gonna go with here, it went in the shoulder about right here, except on the other side, and as you can see above the stinger, that wound track there, that's the Velocitor. Now, it has an excellent wound track, very, very nice wound track, and it actually exited right back here, right above his rear hip area right here and then went in this piece of gel you can see here and it stopped right here the projectile is stopped right here so i'll show y'all some different views to show y'all that um from what i'm seeing i'd rather have that stinger if i'm hunting something like a rabbit like this i mean it went in did nice damage nice wound channel and mushroomed out and stayed inside the rabbit those velocitors now they did very nice damage but they went out of the rabbit now is, is that what you want or would you rather have it stay in the rabbit like this Y'all let me know down in the comments, but um, as far as penetration on this thing, Stinger went inside and it stopped right at 10 inches. So right at 10 inches inside that rabbit on the Stinger. Uh, the Velocitor, obviously, this, this rabbit is 16 inches long. It went out to 16 inches of rabbit. And then from the rabbit, it went another five, about five and a quarter into this piece of gel here. So it definitely traveled a whole lot more than that stinger. And even in this piece of gel down here that this one we called it in, uh, it didn't expand. It looks almost just like the ones we called in the towel. Now, from the other side here, the stinger is this entry right here. Right, like I say, right on the side of the cheek, you can see tons of damage right here in the head area. And then it kept traveling, and you see it stopped right there. There's that stinger again. Now, like I say, that first Velocitor hit the same area right here in the cheek, just a little above it. Nice, nice wound channel. Kept going in, and it went out right here on his back there. You can see it's that top one if you're looking at this right here went out on the back uh the second one like i said went in right here on his ear went on in did some nice wound channel there but then came out right here on his back again and then this third one that i'll show you right here the velocitor went in on his shoulder very nice wound channel down in there as you can see kept on trucking kept on trucking came out the back end and then up here on this, this gel is really hard to see because of this coating on it, this plastic coating. But you can see it went in there and it stopped right there. So let me pull these projectiles out and we'll take a look at those and I'll show y'all what we got. All right, y'all, let's take a look at these projectiles. Uh, obviously these three over here are the Velocitors. This one right here is the Stinger. So as you can see, these Velocitors, not a lot of expansion out of these things. Now they did flatten out on the front that was the one that actually called in the gel. This was one of the ones that I called in the towel, so virtually no difference in them, as you see. And this was one, another one that we called in the towel. So they're all pretty much the same the, from the one that I called in the gel and the ones that just got stopped by the towel. So not much expansion on these at all. I mean, and that's out of, a, that's out of an 18-inch barrel, so I, I don't know. That don't look like a lot of expansion to me. I mean... Uh, versus the stinger i mean look at that that's that's a world of difference right there from that stinger to that velocitor i mean that's a that's a ton of difference you can see that stinger mushroomed out and very nicely compared to that velocitor huge difference in expansion there now granted the velocitor still got more mass because it started out as a 40 grain where the, the uh, stingers is, is a 32 grain so again y'all hunters you know y'all gotta y'all gotta tell me which one would you rather have um let's do a little quick a little quick measurement on this so velocitor 0.245 0.25 0.25 so basically 0.25 on the velocitors the stinger you're looking at 0 0.35 0.36 0.344 0 0.358 so yeah again y'all hunters out there tell me you know which, which one would you rather have would you rather have that expansion or would you rather have that heavier weight to, to begin with? Now, I can just tell you, this gel is brand new and so clear that I can tell you for a fact, neither one of these lost any material. There was no material loss whatsoever. So they're still exactly what they started with. So that being said, uh, would you rather have the one that mushroomed out and stopped inside the rabbit, even though it's a lighter load? 
or would you rather have the heavier load that kept on going out of the rabbit? Um, y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all's thoughts on this. All right, y'all, we're calling that a successful jelly rabbit hunt. Like I say, this one was mainly just for fun, but it did give you a little something to think about here uh, with this jelly rabbit, one of the rounds going in, the stinger going in a nice distance, nice wound channel, and then expanding and stopping inside the rabbit. And then the velocitor going in, again, very nice wound channel, but it carried on out the rabbit and into another little chunk of gel. So like I said, though, I'm very curious to see what y'all hunters have to say about these rounds. Um, would you rather have that stinger that went inside the rabbit Rabbit, mushroomed up really nicely really nice wound channel and stopped inside the rabbit or whether you rather have that velocitor that went inside very nice wound channel also but kept on going out the other side the rabbit uh, even though it was a heavier round to begin with would you rather have that than the stinger let me know down in the comments what y'all think about that if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that thumbs up and like I always ask you let me know what you think about the jelly rabbit here now the, I think this is a pretty fun little target the the downside to this is they don't sell the molds for this yet so I can't remelt it back into a rabbit now i can remelt it back into something else so i'll, I'll definitely remelt it and reuse it you better believe that but let me know what y'all think about this little jelly rabbit make sure you hit that subscribe and hit that bell notification icon down below so when i upload these new videos you'll get notified and you can check those out check my amazon storefront affiliate link down in the description like i always ask if you shop through amazon anyway hit that link up first it doesn't cost you any extra money and anything you buy on amazon after going through that link first we get a kickback from amazon towards the channel so i definitely appreciate that appreciate all my range game members who reach down there and hit that join button that really does help so i thank y'all for that appreciate each and every single one of y'all that watches my videos thumbs up subscribe and leave me comments down below let me know what you think about the jelly rabbit and especially all that hunt small game in particular which one of these rounds would you rather have let me know down in the comments tons more stuff on the way so make sure you stay tuned for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon